This is the book of Proverbs 14, verse 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. First and foremost, we give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekakadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of great millstone who rule well and teach well. Shout out once to the hopeful, elect men that scattered abroad, pushing the truth without sincerity. Shalom unto those few sisters that's taking heed and getting the orders at these last days on the brother number one. Coming with you with a video. Um you know the video been uh, the video been surfa surfacing already, but you know, but with the Rick Ross situation about the bunker, you know, now I want to just elaborate on, on it myself, you know, because we're coming to that time where well, you should never do, um be dependent on what you think you can do. You know, to to be um, prepared for Yahweh Shah, thinking you can escape the judgment. I should say, right, Salaki, Salakia. You know, going going inside your own way to think that you're able to escape what's to come, the doomsday. Only way to escape this, right, is to, is to actually tap back in with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. If you're Israelite, so called Negro, Latino, Native. Right, so the thing that these these celebrities are doing, man, it's just pushing you far into a corner that you won't be able to get out of, man. You know, pretty much setting you up for destruction. So inside this clip of Rick Ross, it just just to show you, right, the the the, the, the going to the video, right, just pretty much saying, hey, man, in these riches that you you know holding on to, that you on the that you're using, putting into motion, is not going to prosper in the day of the um. Yeah, how about Shemuel was shot? Right, not going to prosper it right in the day of wrath. Right, and it says, There's a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Right, because that's going to be your, right, that's going to be the outcome. You know, you felt as if, hey, you, you, you putting your plan, your mysterious plan together, right? But the Lord already know the outcome of it, man. He's going to put you to death, right? Well, I'm going to go inside this clip, right? <laughs> man, man, a clown, right? These celebrities are clowns, man, right? And for you to, and you're, you're an even bigger clown entertaining things like this, man. You know, like he said, <laughs> you know, we go, I got a machine that can make water out of H two O. Well, those are really the same thing, you know. But we, I, I guess I can say I understand the point. He got, a, he got a machine that can, you know, use the elements to create, you know, water, right? But the thing is. They're putting it inside their mind that they're able to gather up the money that they have and put it into play that they can, you know, pretty much uh, be out the way from your house by Shemi Shah's wrath, right? When this time comes, right? All hell breaking loose. And also, you know, what I'm getting at is the, uh, the nuclear destruction. You know, they're thinking that they're going to actually be able to pass by that. You know, and like the scripture says, matter of fact, I grab it in the book of um, Revelation nine and is it nine and six. You know, describing the uh, the missiles. No, not nine and six. Uh, excuse me, is it sixteen? Come, that's what it was. Salakia. It says, I started at fifteen, and the four angels were loosed which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men, right? It says, and the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. And I heard the number of them. And we know America's going to be that, that consuming pot, man, that, that great lake of fire, right? And we, 
you know, this this clown Rick Ross talking about, you know, building a bunker, right? Hey, man, that, it's, it's just going to get digged up, right? Those riches are not going to prosper, right? It's not going to prosper in the day of the wrath, man. It's not going to be able to hold up. Only thing going to be able to hold is what? You're going to always bring it out. Isaiah 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge, right? And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, right? Because, you know, the funny thing about it is um, a lot of people, right? Well, I'm going to say this. In, 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 in his case, right? You can have that bunker, man, right? But you still going to be panicking, you know? You still going to be panicking. And who's to say? Man, that fool may go old. Man, the Lord is so cold with it, man. He can, man, he can, he can rig it up any type of way, you know. To where, to where, um, the fool may go bad, or you able to only just get down there. You know, you may be, you may be able to only just get down there, and and with the and that's it. You know, you just stuck down there. You know, and like the brother, um, I'm one Uncle Bar has said, right? Those shits, those those coffins. I mean, those bunkers gonna really be like coffins for Jake, man. The one these celebrities thinking that they, they getting away by getting inside of a bunker, you know? They can be like coffins for these, but um, they gonna be like coffins, right? Because they're gonna be stuck down there when the missiles hit. They gonna be fried and laid to the side, and for these elites, right? Hey. The scriptures talking about how we're gonna come get them, right? So so it's it's nowhere to hide, right? It's nowhere to hide when it comes to Yahweh Um Jeremiah sixteen and sixteen, I think so. Um It says, Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord Yahweh, and they shall and they shall fish them, and after I will send for many hunters. And they shall slack it, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and 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 from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks right and and the thing about it is a hey, wherever right you you can be like a GPS with the elect man you know the Lord gonna have the um the elect man like low I'm part of that remnant right they gonna be looking for the elect they gonna be fishing up out of their uh holes man out of their bunkers the one that's thinking they finna just get away. <laughs> you know, the Lord got something for them. But for these jakes that's trusting inside they um they own way, hey, they death too. Wo um, wo destruction to you. Right? I'm gonna keep rolling. Um what was that precept? Proverbs three and seven. You know? It says, Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord, Yahweh, and depart from evil. Right, be not wise in our own eyes, man. Right, like I just brought out in, in Proverbs fourteen and twelve. Why? Because being wise in thy own eyes is not going to equate to what the Yahweh Shemash I need you to do. You know, you know, hey, hey, you got Jake trying to get a bunker, right? Man, you need to get this wisdom, not truth, and understanding. Right, that's what's going to prosper inside today. Right. Um, let me, matter of fact, let me go ahead and go to it. <laughs> So I got some things queued up I want to get to. Um, Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness deliver from death. Right? So, hey, everyone out there that's worrying about chasing a bag, that bag is going to have holes in it when, it, when shit hit the fan, man. Right? That's, it's, it's not going to mean nothing when, you know, shit hit the fan. Right? And going back to verse 1, I want to elaborate on something. It says the false balance is an abomination. Right to the Lord, but it just what has in, in his delight. There's nothing wrong with having a little bit of bread, right? But seeing these, these celebrities, and they putting their trust in it, right? They're feeling as if their money can buy them out of, like, 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 like Rick Ross, you know? He feels as if this money can buy him and, and, and dismiss him from the, the rap of the Yahweh Shemel Shah. He feels as if he may not, he's not going to um get touched, man. And then you're trying to flex, you're trying to flex with the Edomite that's way above you, man. You know, bread, y'all bread is in, y'all in two different brackets, you know, but that just, you know, Jake, but it says riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness deliver from death, right? So it's, it's, hey, it's inevitable that these, these, these celebrities are going to die, man. 
You know, they thinking that they doing, they thinking they one upping on you, Habashim Yahusha. But they really not. And I want to grab that word, which is in the blue letter. Um, and I want to um, uh, bring out another point with it. Um, Proverbs 11, yeah. Right? And just to bring out the point. Um, it says riches, right? Just, you know, get the definition behind it. It's your wealth, your price, high value, right? It's efficiency, right? And so when you go to the, matter of fact, the um, the Hebrew word, salakia, right, for, for riches is, is home, right? Strong's H, 1952. Home. Home. Right? So it goes in the substance, your riches. Like I said, hey, these things are not going to matter in a day of wrath, man. Right? Because, hey, like I said, you know, that's like, you know, with, with a person that's trying to, that's doing um the doomsday prepping. Those things are not going to matter in a day of wrath. Because, like I said, all hell can break loose and you across town. All that things you just store up, hey, <laughs> you know, it don't even matter. And and, and the brother had brought out a, a beautiful point because he was saying, hey, if you know anything about construction, you know that, hey, that shit don't just building an underground bunk, a bunker, breaking through the ground and doing all that construction underground. It's not going to take no, it's like, no, no, no two months, three months. It takes time, man. And here we are at the brink of hell breaking loose, you know, uh, 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 World War Three, right? The implementation of the, um, the Karagma, you know, right? Um, let me keep going. Um, I had, so, so like, so I had put it up also on the Google, right? The word, um, wealth, right? And I had one get out on the, um, the main points was, um, you had luxury, right? Excuse me. So like, you had luxury. What was the other one that you got your resources, and you got your assets, right? And what's the other one at? The securities. Boom. The state of being free from danger or threat, right? And I was tying that back in because of the... Uh, slack. And I was tying that back in because of the point that, right, the, your state of security is not going to it's not gonna get you delivered, man. You know, and and that's our code. And that's why the Lord say, hey, you know, look up the words, you know, the elders, hey, the big the big brothers, you know, say, look up the words, man. It, it's going to tie it in, man. You know, so in the water for that. Right. But it's just the point, you know, the security that you think you have is not going to prosper in the day of the Lord's wrath. Right. And go back to it. It says Proverbs 11, verse 4. It says, riches profit not in the day of wrath. Right. If you don't have, no matter of fact, Matter of fact, it said riches profit not in the day of wrath, right? The substance, the thing that you think that you keep you comfort is not going to prosper, man. You think that bunker is going to help you in the day of the Lord's wrath? Hell no. You can't hide. Sirach 5 and 7. It says, make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Yeah, how about Shemiah was shy? And put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in that security, thou shalt be destroyed, and perish in the day of vengeance. Why? Because a, hey, that is like a big ass heat wave coming towards you, and the only thing that's gonna be able to keep you from not, um, you know, uh, getting devoured from it is, is, is that uh, that armor, you know. What it says: For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in that security. That shall be destroyed, you know, because at the end of the day, if you're not suited and booted with this wisdom, life, truth, and understanding, right? Don't give a damn. If you got a 401k, 850 credit score, you know, that's not going to matter, you know. When that day, when the Lord really crank it up on a, on a, on a uh, major major um scale, you know, you're gonna wish you had that wisdom and knowledge. That's gonna keep you, you know, stable, man. Right? That's gonna make sure that you're not destroyed. 
right? Other than that, hey, the Lord is sweeping that. You know, he he's uh, you know, uh, getting rid of it. I should say, you know. But I'm gonna play the video back over again, and and I'm gonna close out with that. You know, just the point I was want to bring out. Uh, um, man, if I got one more priest, I'm gonna bring out with. I just want to bring out the point that you know, a. Hey, don't don't uh let these these celebrities fool you, man. These riches is not gonna do nothing when the Lord cranks things up. Thing about he told me he got a bunker. Man, his bunker gonna be somewhere in, in in Babylon the Great, right? And like I just brought out in the book of Revelation nine and sixteen, two hundred million missiles gonna hit this place, man. Right? He gonna dig his big ass up. The missiles gonna dig his big ass up, man. that are actually ready, right, <laughs> is the brother of the Great Millstone, right, and he teaches likewise doctrine, <laughs> you know? The older brother that's ready, because why we know what the Lord want to do for us. The scriptures tell you in the book of Isaiah 33 and um, Salakia, ooh. Um, Isaiah uh, 65, matter of fact, I'm going to grab it since I, you know, I choked up, choked up on it. We know what the Lord going to do for us. We ain't, we ain't worrying about Storing up like no dooms, they punk, uh, prepper, you know, hoarding with all these canned goods and shit, man. You ain't worrying about that. We know the Lord gonna come through for us. It says, Isaiah 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, the Most High, right? Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. It says, Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Right? And this goes to show you that, hey, he can store up all of that stuff. And like I said, this shit may go bad, man. You know, you can be in that bunker starving, you know? So, you know, it's going back to that small little clip, I mean, a small little part. Uh, let's fucking... Uh, You see, he he he's saying he's ready on the, on the carnal aspect, man. You know, I lost my train of thought, but I'm gonna close up this last precept in the book of First John. The Lord willing, you know, this is the edifying. Um, it's the book of First John, chapter two, um, verse fifteen. It says, "Love not the world." Neither the things that are in the world. If any man work, love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right? And we have to live in this world, we don't have, but we don't live of it. Lord willing, I said that the correct way. You know? We, we have to live in this world, but we don't live of this world. You know? It says, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right? Because when, t when shit gets real... The one that's the the one that's really uh, it's gonna it's gonna, it's gonna be a split. The one that really love you, how about your shot? And the one that really love the world, they're gonna put their trust inside the riches that they have accumulated over the time, you know, and to pretty much guard themselves, you know. So for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world, right? And you see how Rick Ross, you know, with the pride, hey. Scripture, matter of fact, scripture said, man, you know, uh, 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 pride goes before destruction. You know, I think that's in Proverbs 18. Matter of fact, let me grab it right quick. Proverbs 
I think it's 18, 16. No, or 16, 18. It's a lot. It says Proverbs 16, verse 18. Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. <laughs> and all this is tying back in, man, right? Because you, you, you thinking, going off your own understanding, that's pride, man. You know, it's excluding Yahweh Shemal Shai out the picture, right? You, you, you're you setting yourself up for a fall, a hard fall, right? So it's a pride go before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall, you know? And that goes all into, you know, a... um. Proverbs 14 and 12, when it was uh, stating the point of there's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the but the end of are the way to death. All right? Because it takes pride to think that it, it's just you thinking you, you know you finna escape the judgment. All right? <laughs> um, this is first John 2 and 15 again. I started 16. He said, For all that is in the world, the, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not the Father, but but is of the world, and the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doth the will of Yahweh Shemuel Shah abide forever. Right. So, hey, you know, just all in all, having that spirit of thinking, you can you can find your own way out, right? Because the Lord tell you, hey, you have to go through Him. You know, you, you have to go through you have to go through Him. He's the way. <clears throat> right. Not not going through no, these, these chariots, man. I mean, slacking. Not going through these these bunkers. You know. But um, matter of fact, I think I had one more precept. Was it Jeremiah, Jeremiah nine and twenty three? Mm. Come. I just you know state the point in Jeremiah twenty three nine and twenty three, and I close out with that. But it says, "Thus saith the, uh, <laughs> thus saith the Lord Yahweh: Let not the wise men glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty men glory in his might. Let not the riches, the rich men glory in his riches." You know, and it just you know um, bring back the point. You know, don't be wise in your own eyes, man. Right? You you trying to use um, the riches that you have to escape the judgment of Yahweh Shemesh is not going to it's not going to benefit you, man. You know, but Lord willing, you know, the lesson was edifying to the point, right? I want to give our honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Till next time, I say Shalom.